All right, folks, this is the installation of the Ida Gear Multicam Black Helmet Cover. This is the package. I forget how much it was. I think it was maybe 25 bucks or something. Uh, let's check it out. This is what it is right here. So just by looking at it, I am noticing uh, Velcro on the side, right? You can put flags and such, um, both sides actually. You can see the multicam black pattern here, right? Not too much of it. Uh, the top, there's no uh, camouflage or pattern on the top. There is a mesh, there's also an entire Velcro strip that runs from the front all the way to the back and you can even mount again another flag here or a call sign uh, infrared patch or whatever um, and it does have this uh, bungee that can retain whatever it is you're trying to put there all right uh, this right here opens up you can put a battery pack if you're running nods. Uh, if you're running a counterweight and you're trying to fill this up with something, uh, I've heard of folks using uh, nine millimeter bullets, <laughs> or uh, you could even use, uh, I think I've used quarters or coins in the past as counterweights, or I think you can actually buy the weights uh, for that your counterweight. Um, there are holes in here though, so I would put it in a separate bag and then put it in here or something. Um, if you were to do, use this as a counterweight pouch. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and try So I have the uh, up for um, the ballistic helmet. Uh, this is the replica, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the brand is. Got it off of Amazon. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Emerson, but I don't know. Let's see. FMA. It's made by FMA. There we go. There's the label. Right? So yeah, this is just how I set it up. Let's actually go over that. Um, got the Opsco Arc Rail adapters and I've uh, fitted the Walker Razor electronic uh, hearing uh, ear pros on here right the only thing though i'd say about this setup is sometimes this comes loose from the rails but as long as it's on your head it's not going to do that right it just might come off during transport or you know if you were playing around with it you know it does it can come off but if it's on your head it's on there pretty snug i've never had it come off during a game or anything like that so this it's in a multicam, but as you know, and I, I believe Garantha mentioned this as well, that once this wears over time, you start to get that shine on your helmet, and you really don't want that, especially if you're trying to camouflage yourself. So you definitely do want a helmet cover. This is the uh, GoPro mount. This is the replica version of the... Brain Exploder, which is great because you don't because the classic GoPro helmet mounts, you need to kind of angle the GoPro in the correct way in order to frame your shot. So you're not having the GoPro look too too much towards the ground or into the sky or whatever. Uh, with the Brain Exploder GoPro mount, simply rotate your GoPro all the way until it hits your helmet, uh, the brim here, and it's gonna be the perfect position. That's why I like this. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try putting the helmet cover on. Oh, well, she can't do it. All right, let's go ahead and install it. Let's take this off. Where's my knife? I'll worry about that later. So, let's see. So, 
I have limited experience with installing helmet covers. It's been a while for me. I'm just going to give this a shot. Uh, what I can already notice is that there's... Let's focus there. There we go. There's Velcro attachments. I'm seeing four on the front here, right? And about two on the rear. I suppose we can start with the front. And it looks like this goes around the night vision mount, right? So, by the way, I got some flags on here and I have a red V light. We got a night game coming up and uh, this is gonna be handy for, you know, when you when I call my hit or whatever. So let's go ahead and start with, you know what? I'm gonna take this off. You guys can probably hear it's thunderstorming where I'm at. I'll probably go ahead and take this off because I will be using night vision for that night game. So I'm not really worried about this. Not the easiest to take off, but it's probably a good thing it's secure. There we go. Ouch. Look at that. So I also put some ta a duct tape inside because there was it was a uh, wobbling, right? So, anyways. Now this is where the night vision goes. This is the hole. Get that fastening velcro out. It's actually two of them. Let's see where this will mount to. I'll have to go underneath these um, straps here. Let's try it out. These bungee cords, rather. There you go. I have to Velcro that somehow, but bear with me. Now there's also Velcro here, which is nice because there's Velcro here. So I think it already assumed that you may have some Velcro already on your helmet. It's perfect because it's gonna stick right on there. This flag's just kind of tricky to get off right now. So this is kind of easy because it just goes right on top of your existing Velcro patch on your helmet. So that's the easy part, right? I, I can already anticipate the front being a little tricky as far as getting it on there. Um, now let's go for the back here. Velcro 
those strips out. Do need to take that tag off as well. Well, maybe we'll see if it actually fits first before I even take that off. So it looks like this will go underneath. And the question is now, which Velcro would it attach to? Because I'm not seeing any Velcro, right? I'm not seeing any Velcro on this helmet. So we can also feel Velcro under, underneath of this, which is great because it would stick right on here. So we may not even need these additional Velcro straps, right? We may not need that. Might be enough to just have it stick to the Velcro that's on the helmet itself. And we could call it a day, uh, but we'll see, but we'll see. So, uh, let's see if I can tighten this down somehow. I'm not really sure what that even does. I guess that tightens up the, uh, the this compartment, your counterweight compartment or your battery compartment. But so far, I gotta say, this being secured on the helmet Velcro itself seems to already uh, be sufficient, right? As far as these go, we do need to find a way to secure it. I'm not sure if uh, people cut this off or you know, however they, they do it, but yes, I, I might just have to cut those off. Or I might just tuck them in for now. Wait a minute. I just have to cut them off, yeah. So, and it's like I said, notice how this already came off. Wait a minute, this really came off, didn't it? the most secure but ideally I would have I would have gotten the arc rails that is actually compatible with this and or secure but um what are you gonna do anyways that probably concludes our mounting of this helmet cover but like I said this thing it seems secure it look, doesn't seem like it's gonna come off I can probably realistically cut this off and this little um, thing here. It's probably good enough for it to mount uh, and stay there because of the Velcro here, because of the Velcro on the back as well, right? So it doesn't seem like I need all these extra Velcro pieces. Unless, of course, you install some male Velcro or the hook, not the loop, the loops on here. And then simply, you know, velcroed it inside somehow. But it doesn't make sense because there's padding all around here. And there's padding. Actually, here might be the rear might be more realistic. I don't know about the front. So uh, as far as accessories, what can we mount to this? Well, we can mount that V light. Well, also notice here it's kind of loose, right? It's kind of weird here. So, I will 
we'll mount, go ahead and mount my V-Light for now. Alright, there we go. I'm dead. Okay, yeah, that's how it looks. Now, keep in mind, I am intending to wear this with a uh, multicam outfit. So it's going to be a mix of multicam black and multicam. So this black helmet cover, I think, is really going to go with, you know, um, that multicam black outfit and combination of the multicam uh, gear, like the plate carrier and such. So this helmet being tan is going to go with that whole look of that mix of multicam black and multicam. Yes, I'm going to have to figure this part out just a little bit more, but so far it does seem like it probably is going to be working out. So, seems secure, just probably add some flags and such to here. Um, but yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll try this. How about that? I think good. One last thing, there we go. And there's your Ido gear. Let's lower this. This is your Ido gear multicam black helmet cover on your FMA fast Opscore helmet. So, little update, the Velcro, I'm able to slip it in between the padding and the styrofoam, I think that's styrofoam, padding of the Oxford helmet. So, you can pull it through like this, right? Just like that. Don't know if y'all can see it. Let's give it some light. There we go. The Velcro is going between the padding and the styrofoam. That seems to be working. All right. All you have to do is figure out where you can pull that apart and stick it in. And you're going to be able to do that. Velcro straps, let's figure that out as well. So, as we know, the there's a rear, rear padding here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now, my worst fear has kind of come true. With these replica helmets, you're going to get some cheap Velcro going on that's kind of expected, right? Um, so the, we know there's Velcro here already. I don't know if y'all can see that. But, so yeah, we do see Velcro here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the Velcro there. I'm going to try to do it a little bit offset so I'm still making that Velcro available to stick that pad back in. So yeah, I am still feeling some Velcro left for this pad to still stick in there. Hopefully it does. Hopefully I didn't take up too much of that Velcro real estate. And you know what? It did. But you know what? I feel like it doesn't need 
this Velcro strap. So because of that Velcro that's holding it in place already, right? So I feel like we don't even need that because as you can see here, this is not going anywhere. This is not really good. So we don't really need that, right? If I return this helmet cover, don't tell them I cut off the uh, Velcro straps. But yeah, that had to go. Let's put our padding back in. And that's secure. There we go. All right. Looking pretty good, I think. And that concludes our installation of the Idol Gear multicam black helmet cover on the FMA Ops Core Fast Helmet.